Hi folks, thanks for watching. So, unfortunately, I have been giving out bad information. And in reference to my outdoor air kit, now, I put this on quite some time ago. And the reason I put it on is to not pull the outdoor air into the house because the factory up the street, the cinnamon factory, puts a nice cinnamon smell in the environment. Now, it smells great when you're outside, but it can bother my allergies and asthma. And I didn't, certainly didn't want to pull that cinnamon smell inside the house, even though it does smell good. I didn't want that in there. So I put the outdoor kit on the pellet stove, knowing that the pellet stove pulls in a lot of air, and it usually pulls it under the door sweep and through the windows. So that's why I put the outdoor air kit on. Not necessarily to save pellets and money, but to prevent that it from pulling the smell of cinnamon inside the house. Now. I did it a long time ago and I would like you guys to forgive me because when someone asked me I said it really didn't make much difference for pellets for how many pellets I burned but I know now for sure it does make a difference I want you to forgive me for giving you bad information because that's about the time that I found out I had cancer kidney cancer stage four so I was kind of preoccupied anyway how do I know so I need to pull a pellet stove apart. Um, what happens is right on top of the auger, so there's the pellet chute, there's the pellet hopper, hopefully you can see this, and then there's the pellet chute, and beneath that is the auger. Now, what happens is that that area before the auger on the iron stoves, it gets caked up with sawdust and things like that. Now, about a year and a half ago, I took it apart. I took the back apart. I took the auger out and I cleaned that chute out in there so the pellets wouldn't stick in there. Well, in a year and a half it's gotten clogged again because I guess I didn't do a good job of cleaning it out. So I'm waiting for my gasket for the exhaust so I can pull it out and pull the auger out and clean back there so the pellets don't get clogged. But in the meantime, I wait till it runs out of pellets, I get in there with a coat hanger and I clean the top and I try to get in there as much as I can with a coat hanger, it's maybe that long, maybe you can see that, it's about like that. So I get back there, it's kind of hard to get in there, it's kind of at a curve. And I scrape it with the coat hanger, so in the meantime it stays unclogged so I can put pellets in there until I can really clean it out from the bottom. I clean it out from the top as best I can with the coat hanger, so it won't clog up in the meantime until I get the gasket. Now. The reason I know that it burns less pellets is because I filled the house up with a little bit of smoke. Just like Jill did the other night when she was cooking, it was cooking smoke. Now, the other night when Jill filled the house up with cooking smoke, when she was cooking, we put the fan above the stove on and the fan in the bathroom. And that was the pulling fresh air from under the door sweeps and around the windows. Probably mostly around the door sweeps. So with those fans on, I can feel a draft from the basement and from the outside air from the front door, okay? Now, previous to the outdoor air kit, you could always feel a draft from the basement with your bare foot when you put it on the bottom of the door and outside. Joe would complain about it all the time. It would always pull air there. So, the stove without the air, outdoor air kit, was pulling in a lot of air from the under from the door sweeps from underneath the doors from the outside. It was pulling as much air from the outside as the stove vent and the bathroom vent. Those two combined, it was pulling more air. So that it was constantly pulling that air in from underneath the door sweeps. So there's constant draft of cold air. Now, when she cooked the other night, we put it on, and we said, it's cold in here. It's definitely pulling air from the outside because it's cold in here. Well, we noticed the stove was roaring. Instead of the flame like this, the flame was up here like this. But yet it felt cold, right? So tonight, I was down there scraping around in the top, and the smoke sometimes backs up out of there, out of the hopper, and into the room. So again, I put the stove fan on and the bathroom fan on. Now the stove, all day and all night, the stove was barely chugging along. So much so that I thought something was wrong with it before, because I'm like, what's going on? Normally when it's this cold outside, 
So it's really going to run to keep the heat up. So at 37 degrees, the stove was barely running. But yet, the temperature inside, without the vents on, was not changing. So over there on the wall thermostat, when I checked, which connects to the heat pump, it said 79. But the stove was barely running. Now, it's complicated, but when I put the stove vent on, and it was pulling all that air from the underneath the door in the bathroom vent, it still said 79, but the pellet stove was really roaring. So that lets me know that with the outdoor air kit, it doesn't pull any air from the outside. See, the air from the pellet stove goes right to the outside, and that's where it pulls in its air. Now, it's not a complete closed system because when I put the vent on there, I had two and a, half, two and a quarter inch pipe, and the vent for my Harman stove is two and a half. So I just put the pipe in there and I left it open. Still though, I'm pulling a lot less air from underneath the door and around the windows. I'm pulling it from the vent on the outside into the stove and then it's burning it and venting it to the outside. So it's almost a closed system. It could be a closed system if I had a bigger vent. But even as it is, it's pulling a lot less air from underneath the, the uh, door. And I'm burning a lot less buzz because at this temperature, 37 degrees, the stove would normally really be roaring. The flame would be high. And I've taken a picture with the, with the oven vent on, the stovetop vent, and the bathroom vent so you can see what it normally looked like all winter. Now I haven't calculated how many less pellets I'm using, but I can tell you a bag of pellets, a bag of Statesman, from the mill, which is made by Hamer pellets, which are hardwood pellets, last almost two days. One bag almost lasts two days at this temperature. And before I would go through about a bag a day, or let's say a bag probably in 26, 27 hours, and now it's lasting, geez, I don't know, 30 hours, 35 hours, something like that. So bag is lasting longer. The stove is not chugging as hard. So I know I'm burning less pellets. So it's more cost efficient. I'm not pulling in the cinnamon smell. I'm pulling in my air from outside in the stove. So I'm not constantly pulling this draft from underneath the door and from the basement. Now, with the stove running as it is, now with the outdoor air kit, we don't get a draft from the basement door like we used to for about 10 years. And we don't get a cold draft on the front door like we used to. So I know for a fact it is more efficient and burning less pellets. It is more efficient to have an outdoor air kit. Now, as far as how the pellets burn, if it looks better in the burn pot, if it burns better, I don't see any difference at all. I don't get less clinkers. As a matter of fact, I get about the same amount I always got, but I can tell you I am burning less pellets, which kind of indicates to me it doesn't indicate it's more efficient as far as burning the pellets, but it indicates it's more efficient as far as the stove heating the house because I'm not pulling the draft that I used to be underneath the door. So it works better. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Now for the lay, lay person that doesn't have a pellet stove, you're not going to be interested in, in this. But for a person that has a pellet stove, like I do a wood pellet stove, and is considering an outdoor air kit, that's my answer. So thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful. Okay, news the stove is roaring. Here's my outdoor air kit. Yes, there's a little condensation on there. I'll try to bite that so you can see it. It is made of a 2.25 inch exhaust pipe and a 2 inch vent from a generic palisade place. Now I want you to notice that that the overhead fan is on with the fan for the stove and I've got the bathroom vent sorry bathroom fan on and notice what the stove is doing now the temperature is the same in here 79 it was 79 before it was the same temp outside Yet the stove is really just kind of chugging along, barely even going before.
Okay, so I've turned the stove vent fan off and the bathroom vent fan off. And look what the stove is doing now. It's the same temp in here. It's actually a little hotter because when I had the vent fan on um, and then I turned it off, it got one degree higher in here. But look what the stove is doing. So it's barely sticking along. That's pretty much what it's done all day. And again, here's my, you can see that. Here's my outdoor air kit made from a two and a half inch exhaust pipe. And it is 37 degrees out. And normally the stove would be much higher. And I definitely don't have the draft that I used to have underneath the front door or from the basement.